Hey man, first of all, let's skip all that YouTuber BS saying, you don't need friends, you need a grind. Well, this video is for folks that actually want to hang out with people. Something I heard a long time ago was understand that everything that happens to you is your fault. Not in a literal sense, but more meaning that you can do anything about everything. So if you choose inaction, not doing anything, well, then it's basically your fault. It sounds a little harsh and it's easier said than done, but this is amazing news because that means you can do whatever you want. That means at the end of this video, you can literally walk outside and be the most popular person ever. Yeah, but we're probably not going to turn to super people at the end of the video. So on the bright side, we can just take steps, right? Step by step. But for most of us, the problem is we get comfortable. We get stuck in a loop, even with friends that you currently have that you don't really like. I was I was in college and I had a friend my first year that I honestly just didn't like. And I usually like everyone, but this dude was just an ass. He wasn't cool, but I clung on to him because he was like the only friend that I could hang out with. And I was the only friend that he could hang out with. So we were friends of ooh, so we are friends of convenience. Now everyone always says join clubs with the interests that you like and you'll make friends. And, and I was always thinking, okay, that's just, let me just focus on school. I got my one friend. And then one day I decided to join a club just out of the blue, out of nowhere. I got my new car and I was like, you know what? I could drive now. Screw it. Let's do it. And that was the best decision I could ever make i made my best friends during that club because we literally had the same interests we're social animals right we want to hang out we want to talk we might have traumas in our past about friendships about trying to join a certain group of people and it just not working out and feeling uncomfortable and thinking that that's going to happen to me forever and ever but the reality of it is it's not well it's most likely not. Now, what if you're in high school? Well, you join a club in high school, and this is what I mean by everything being your fault. Because you can do this and just turn the video off right now, join a club and then make friends. The answer is right there, but you might not, and that's okay too. But if your reasons are excuses, like what if they don't like me? What if I actually don't make friends, so why would I try? Then it's time to do a little work and you gotta ask yourself, what makes you so special? Why would everyone like everyone and hate you? But I don't wanna make this sound like a self-help video, so I, let's just be practical. For those of us not in school or like finished with college and stuff like that, it's a little bit tougher, right? I mean, the world is, a parasocial world now, everyone's online and all that. But the crazy thing is I've noticed that when I'm at home, like doing work all day, when I do hang out with my friends, it's like a massive burst of joy. We really are social creatures. The thing is, it's not just me. It's most people feeling that way. So people want to hang out. Hanging out with people outside of your phone will never go out of style. Now there are clubs outside of school, so you can join those. But the main thing you can do is put yourself out there. Go to a coffee shop, you never know. Go to Anime Expo if you like anime. Go to Coachella if you like music, you never know. My sister made like six of her best friends at Anime Expo. They were all black, they were all girls, they all liked anime, it was that simple. Now, you don't need someone to go with. Mindset, remember? If you walk in and you do your own thing, more often than not, people are gonna be thinking you're with someone or if they know for some reason you're by yourself, they'll tell you to come over and hang out. Worst case scenario, everyone looks and points at you and goes, that lonely mother, what are you doing in our space? This is for groups, but that's never happened. So it probably won't happen to you. Now the next step's a little tougher, right? When you do go to these places, is talking to people. Ugh. My answer to that is to be yourself and don't take anything personally. If you have something you want to say, try to say it. Like if someone at Starbucks happens to have a shirt with your favorite band on it, then maybe mention it. Say, hey, where'd you get that shirt? Who knows? If you guys talk, if you guys laugh about it, and that's just it, the conversation ends and you guys go on your merry ways, then that's it. That's life, isn't it? All good. But who knows, that person might just end up being your best friend ever. And if they're the gender that you like, then you might get into a relationship. Now, relationships with zero friends are kind of dangerous, but do whatever you want. It's life, do whatever you want. But from what I've seen 
personally. If you're in a relationship and their friends turn to your friends, their friends will always kind of be loyal to her. No matter how many years you know these people, there'll always be that twinge, humans are weird, that twinge of loyalty to her. Or on the flip side, you might cling on to that person in your relationship because you'll feel like, oh, I'll go back to being lonely if, I, if they leave me or if I leave them. So you'll start doing some wild stuff. That's just in my experience, but who knows, anything could happen. And I think I'll stop the video here. I don't want to be a YouTube self-help guru. I just thought maybe I could just help some folks if I said something, I don't know.